You guys wanted more VR videos, so here's a VR video. Let's go. Hi everyone, thanks for pressing play. Hope you're doing well. I am the Manly Core Pixel Paul, and this is another PlayStation VR playthrough video. Yep, still loving the PlayStation VR, still loving VR gaming. Um, the pile of VR games is getting bigger and bigger, and I'm getting a bigger and bigger backlog. Um, but yeah, still loving playing through some of these VR games. And I've got another two to show you today. So um, yeah, let's crack on and go straight into the games to go through today. And um, the first one is a VR game, which I've been really sort of excited to play. I've been looking forward to playing this one. Um, I've been sort of touching on the other games that I've got, um, but this one is one game which um, I've been told about and um, everybody sort of says this is a really sort of epic kind of blockbuster type VR game. Um, so it's it's one that deserves a little bit more time and you know you really need to play and get through. So um, yeah, the game is Blood and Truth. So I picked this up, uh, I think last month I want to say, um, and just started it recently. I haven't finished it yet. I'm about halfway through it. Um, yeah, this is this is some game. Um, let's take a look at the first opening chapter of Blood and Truth. Um, I will warn you, there is quite a bit of language in this, so if you're easily offended, sorry. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the first chapter or mission of Blood and Truth. Ryan Marks. It's not looking good, is it? <sighs> I've had better days. <laughs> so are you. Name's Carson, but we'll get to that. You and I are on the same side, by the way. Right. But don't I get a lawyer? You don't need a lawyer. But you do need my help. Oh, for fuck's sake. You seem to have forgotten in all this excitement that you were in some serious shit. Look around you, Ryan. This is it. This is the rest of your life, sitting in a fucking room. Come on, play it out. You're facing multiple life sentences. Terrorism, conspiracy, more murders than we could even count. So you don't want to talk? Okay. Let me tell you what I know. This is Blood and Truth. First person shooter Zero. on PSVR. Uh, so far, from what I've played of it, it's pretty good. Um, using the move controls for this. The opening chapter is a little bit like the opening to a modern warfare game in a way. Um, the rest of the game is not so well. And what I've played so far is pretty good fun. Controls are pretty straightforward. So the directional sort of movement is moving towards a highlighted waypoint, which in VR games sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but in this, I think it's pretty good. Weapon check. Doing a weapon check. Weapon good. Reloading with the weapons using the move controllers is a little bit more fiddly than when you just use a normal uh, controller. Because you can use a controller with this game as well. Shoot the catch. I'm going to climb up these ladders. It's a lot easier to do in this game than it is in some others. Yeah, this is kind of handy. You strafe with the circle and X buttons. 
So as you can see, movement is quite decently fluid. Shoot, trigger buttons. This level, like most sort of VR games, it's all about getting you used to the controls and the different things you can use in the game. And another thing you can do I can pick that this door is locked. Just, just, you have this little tool pouch, you can pick the lock. One. As you can see, it's quite fluid movement. That's probably why it has the reputation of being one of the better VR games, really. Doors reinforced. Looks like I'm going in loud. Prepare the breach. Prime the charge. Good marks. I thought I was gonna have to rescue myself. Oh, fair enough. I'll be off then, shall I? <laughs> you fucker, come on. Get these up. <sighs> Give me a combat estimation. Route in. I had eyes on seven to ten x-rays with longs and five x-rays with shorts. Best estimate. Okay, go. Comms check. Roger that. Weapon check. Ammo good. Oh, Weapon good. Great. Safety off. Always. Firm. Move. But all the, the rest of the game isn't necessarily like that. More of a... Firm. Move. Almost like gangster kind of... 
game with flashback and stuff. Now this next section kind of goes a little bit on the rails. It's going to be a fucking hornet's nest Let's out there, mate. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Go. Shooter, this type sort of game, this bit. Reload. Oops. <laughs> Over we go. Just come up actually, that my move controller is about to run out of battery, so hopefully, we'll be able to finish this level. Let's get these guys. Sponge bullets, some of these guys. We've got them. And I think you can hear that helicopter. That's our ride out of here. Once we get past these blockades. to reload but have it <laughs> I think that's pretty much the end of this level that's the helicopter that's come to pick us up <laughs> yeah nice action packed sort of opening to the game good intro But yeah, that's the first level of Blood and Truth. Get back to the games room and talk about it a little bit more. So that was the opening mission of Blood and Truth. And yeah, as you can see, it's... I mean, it, from the out, outside, possibly, it looks like any sort of standard on-rails shooter uh, for VR. But it's just got something about it. There's something different about this game. It just feels, in every sort of way, that little bit more polished, that little bit more epic and very sort of story driven as well so it's all based around i mean that that opening level does look like something out of call of duty opening um but the rest of the game is very much more like a like a london heist kind of film um with sort of a british cast i mean it was made in london this game as well as far as i know uh, it stars colin salmon too who you may recognize from like the bond films and resident evil and a few other films um but yeah, it's it's incredibly easy game to get into as well. 
I think the move controls work really, really well with this game. Far better than using like the standard DualShock controller because that works. Uh, and there are certain things with the controller which is, are slightly easier to do, like the reloading perhaps. But for a complete immersive kind of experience, the move controls are much better using this game. Um, and yeah, I would go as far at the moment as to say that probably Blood and Truth is my favourite VR game that I've played so far. Certainly up there with Astro's uh, Rescue Mission, Astro Rescue Mission, which I thought was excellent. Um, but I think, yeah, Blood and Truth is a must, must have game for VR. It's a really good game, really good game, I reckon, to show off to your mates if they come around and they have a, want a look at the VR in action. It's a good one to show off, I think. So thoroughly recommended. Um, I got this for about five, I think it was five pounds from CEX, uh, like I say, a month or two ago. Um, I think it's still about that price. At that price, I think it's really worth it, 100% worth it. Um, definitely one to pick up if you are new to VR. And uh, yeah, really good. VR game that I wanted to show this month was Drive Club VR. And yeah, I've only got two racing games uh, in my VR collection at the moment. I've got Wipeout and I've got this. Um, I wanted a driving game because I, I just feel like driving games on VR, I'm surprised there's not more of them in a way. Um, but yeah, Drive Club VR. I never played the original sort of vanilla version of Drive Club, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but yeah, what I've done is I've taken footage from uh, two races, one, at day, one in the day and one at night. So let's have a look at Drive Club VR in action.
was Drive Club VR in action. And yeah, I'm enjoying Drive Club. Um, it's a very sort of different experience doing it in VR. Um, you'll notice that I didn't take any footage of me playing the game because you play it with the standard controller um, and it's not very interesting, the actual person sort of playing it uh, because you just stand there or sit there with the controller. Um, so I didn't take any footage with me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a weird one, Drive Club, because I am very much more an arcade racer kind of guy. Uh, sim racing is not necessarily my thing, um, but I did want a racing game. Obviously, Gran Turismo, I think it's Gran Turismo Sport, is available in VR, but I did get told that apparently uh, in Gran Turismo, you only race against one other car, which didn't seem that fun, really. Um, but Drive Club, obviously, as you can see, you drive against various other uh, races as well. Um, but what I will say about Drive Club is that it is absolutely stunning. What a great looking game. Um, sort of contrast as well. I wanted to show night and day because uh, during the day, the, the sort of scenery looks amazing. The other cars look great. Um, and it all moves very smoothly as well, even in VR. And then the nighttime sort of uh, races as well with the lighting effects, very clever. Really like uh, the nighttime driving. Um, as you can see, I am not the world's greatest uh, racing game. Um, I, I, you know, I don't. I think I finished last in both of those races. Um, but it was more because I was trying to capture what was going on around me. So that's my excuse. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not the world's greatest at sort of sim races. This, I don't know. This sort of feels somewhere in between the two of them: uh, sim racing and arcade racing. Um, maybe because I've not played it as in depth as, as I would like to at the moment, um, but I am enjoying it. Um, there was loads of options, you know, customization, different race types, tons of stuff in Drive Club. And like I say, I, I probably, like a lot of the VR games, I've only sort of scratched the surface of them. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed it so far. I can't remember how much I picked this up for. I want to say about eight pounds. Um, but again, whether that's changed or not recently, I'm not sure, but I'll probably stick it up in the corner to show you how much it currently is and how much you can pick it up for. But I think as a racing as racing games go, I think this is another one definitely worth picking up if you are new to VR and looking to build a VR collection. So two pretty solid VR games there for you, um, both of which I am really enjoying, really liking them, especially Blood and Truth. I think it's a fantastic game. Um, but yeah, just the two games to show you this month. Um, I've got plenty more to go through, plenty more to show you. Um, I'm enjoying doing these videos. I do like doing these. Um, they're not getting massive views or anything like that, but certainly the people that are watching them, I'm getting quite a lot of feedback about these videos, the VR specific sort of videos saying that they're really enjoying them, something different. Not many people are doing VR videos um, and I'm liking doing them too. So I will keep them coming. I will keep doing these videos and I'll get through this pile of VR games and try and show you as many of them as I possibly can over the coming months. All that's left to say then, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, if you can hit that subscription button, I probably don't say it enough, Thank you so much for the people that are subscribed and are subscribing and are watching and liking and commenting and sharing. I do appreciate it. Like I said, I don't say it enough probably, um, but I do genuinely appreciate it. I'm really humbled by how well this channel is starting to do um, and it's down to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, but if you're not already subscribed, yeah, make sure you hit that subscription button. Um, take care and I will see you next time.